Oh, you got to stay informed. I've been doing a lot of reading. I've got a great love of reading. I read everything, except social cues. <laughs> <laughs> to me, there's nothing better in the world than curling up in a beanbag with a good book. I get into the beanbag, I unzip it, I get in there, I zip it. <laughs> I'm in there. Sometimes someone else will come along, don't lie down on the beanbag. <laughs> they don't know I'm in there. They don't know I'm in there with the beans. <laughs> they don't know I'm in there sniffing on their neck. I've got to stay so still, and it is so worth it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Has anyone graduated to the Kindle? Got the e-book? Doing burnouts outside Dimmix? Never again. <laughs> yeah, I got the Kindle. There are things I miss. You know, I like to finish a book and peg it at the wall. <laughs> Del Toro, quest! Ah! Thank you, Emily. <laughs> But there are advantages. I got the waterproof Kindle, so I can spit on it. <laughs> I bought my Kindle second hand. So I, you know, on a Kindle, if you press on a word, it shows you a definition of that word. If you hold down on the word, it'll show the definition. And you can look to see all the words that have ever been looked up on your Kindle. That's how I learned that the previous owner had looked up two words. <laughs> Neo-techno-feudalism and nipple. <laughs> Tell me more about this nipple. <laughs> and yes, the previous owner was a blood relative of mine. Ooh. I'm not gonna say, oh, it was one of my uncles. I'm not, it was my uncle Brendan. He's a dirty, dirty prick. <laughs> I wanna get an operation to become a computer. <laughs> I wanna be silver and have no empathy. <laughs> Because com computers are very powerful. I'm serious. They, uh, they once had a tournament to see if a human being could beat a computer at chess. And sure enough, the human won a few rounds. Everyone's like, yeah, good on ya. Wow, go humans. We've still got it. <laughs> but chess was invented by humans. That's a human game. That's one of ours. I want to see who could convert a Word document into a PDF faster. <laughs> I don't know if a human can even... I've tried, you know. It's, yeah. <laughs> when are we finally going to get a Compare the Meerkats feature film? <laughs> the ads crack me the hell up. The Meerkats, Sergey and Alexander. They've been making us all so happy for the best part of a decade. They're classy. They wear robes. They're nice with it. Why haven't they had a movie? What's going on? They are so ready to make the leap. And don't try to tell me they can't fill the big screen. I went to the cinemas. I went to Hoyts. I went to Hoyts to see The Lost City with Sandra Bullock. At Hoyts. Before the movie, they played a Compare the Meerkats ad. I'm serious, people stop talking. Hold on, these guys were all right. <laughs> Can we dim the lights? These guys are sensational. <laughs> I mean, it's all rigged. What have we got? Kung Fu Panda 5? How to Train Your Dragon 10? This dragon is getting quite an education. <laughs> what are you teaching this dragon? How to do brain surgery? <laughs> Yeah, my dragon's getting his PhD. <laughs> the plot is simple. The baby meerkat, baby Ola, gets kidnapped. The meerkats have to rescue him with the help of their new sidekick, Machine Gun Kelly! <laughs> send it, send it! <laughs> what about that Hoyts? One of the ads they show an ad for Hoyt Cinema itself. <laughs> and that's the only place I've ever seen an ad for, for Hoyt's. They're like, come down and experience Hoyt's. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> I'm here. Am I not sitting in B5? Am I not wielding a chop top? <laughs> Am I not holding a chocolate top? Am I not about to desecrate another garment? <laughs> that's one for the blokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bit of a geezer pleaser. 
these blokes are positively buckling. We might have to strap them in. Dave! <laughs> have we got any vegans in the crowd? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm vegetarian, but I want to become vegan, you know? And uh, people always like, vegans! When I reckon really they should say, vegans. <laughs> like, I, I, whatever, I just think, I think it's the right thing to do. And it's so hard to make that switch, you know? It's hard. There's a lot of temptations. <laughs> I was walking home the other day, this old lady came up to me. She said, do you want to eat an egg from a car? <laughs> I said, oh, um, yeah, I, I said, oh, I, I don't, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> she said, do you want to eat an egg from a car? I said, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what's, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> she said, follow me, cunt. I followed her. We walked for ages. She was walking fast. She was paranoid. I would describe the glances she was giving me as conspiratorial. <laughs> she led me to a car park. It was very, what's the word? Secluded. Was it? There were people everywhere. <laughs> no, no, it was desolate. It was grimy. There was a car park there. A Peugeot. Beautiful little car. Hatchback! <laughs> French design. She walked up to it. She whispered. The car made a, a low rumbling sound in response. Then an egg popped out of the exhaust pipe. She said, you want that? I think you might, you look like you do. I said, yes, I want it so badly. Oh, a car egg. I said, but I don't know, is it ethical to eat an egg that came out of a car? Ooh, this is putting my moral compass into a spin. I need to think. She said, well, hurry up. There's plenty of blokes who want it. Suddenly, 50 guys came out of the alleyway. I think mostly hobbyists, but a few professionals. That's, usually I say, I think mostly professionals, but a few hobbyists. <laughs> I guess either way, it doesn't make a great deal of sense. 